Spring Crime, we have new insight into the 26-year-old man accused of killing his young son. Joshua Emmons is facing second-degree murder charges on top of manslaughter in the death of four-year-old Reckland Brown. As we've reported, Emmons had a previous conviction from 2019 for beating a different three-year-old boy. Well, I tracked down that boy's mother, who says she was heartbroken, but not shocked to hear about Reckland's death. It's still hard for Kimber M to look at these photos of bruises all over her son's body. Even though the pictures are five years old, the wounds are still fresh. I mean, it was horrible how bruised his butt was. Um, he had fingerprint bruises all over his body from being grabbed too rough, and it was, it was just horrific. M lives in Florida now. But in 2019, she was living in Syracuse with her boyfriend, Joshua Emmons, and her three-year-old son, Eric. One night in January, Em says she trusted Emmons to babysit her son while she worked a late-night shift as a waitress. The next morning... My son wakes up and I get him ready for a bath, and I see all the bruises and the markings, and I'm like, baby, like, what happened? And he was like, oh, Josh, hit me. What's going through your mind when you hear those words? Um, I instantly, like, I just went to, like, a blind rage. Like, just instantly, I called 911. I rushed him up to the hospital. According to criminal court filings, the child was observed to have severe bruising to his entire buttocks, arms, chest, and back. Joshua Emmons was arrested and charged with endangering the welfare of a child. It was horrifying. It was heartbreaking. Like, I just, I wouldn't wish that on any kid. But Onondaga County prosecutors say it did happen to another kid, four-year-old Reichland Brown. What we are uh, told from our uh, pathologists and the uh, upstate medical uh, team is that the child suffered um, blunt force trauma either by shaking, striking, or being slammed um, into another object. Kimber M., does not understand how a person with Emmons history could get custody of a child. How did DCF, how did the judge, how did everybody just like overlook, you know, his past issues? Reichland's mother, Mackenzie Brown, has the same question. They uh, said they did background checks on Josh and I don't know how they missed uh, the case in 2019. So that is, 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 this is their fault. The Cortland County Commissioner of Social Services tells News Channel 9 it is deeply saddened by this tragedy. And while pending criminal charges and confidentiality laws prevent us from sharing the specific details of this incident, we are fully cooperating with the New York State Office of Children and Family Services, the oversight agency that reviews our work and provides our workforce training. While that investigation continues... I'm just thinking like, man, that could have been my child. Kimber M. says her son Eric is now eight and thriving. He plays football, he's an honor student, he's doing amazing. As for Reichland Brown's family, they'll never know what their young boy could have become. Joshua Emmons is scheduled to appear in court next Friday, September 20th.